Hello, everybody. How is everyone today? There's a few people here. Oh, there's two people here already, according to this. Um, who's here? So, obviously, Simon's here, because I can see him in the chat already. Um, who else do we have here? I hope everyone's well. Um, I'm just going to wait a few minutes uh, to let everybody um, come in to the chat. Uh, I've got traditional bottle of cider this evening. Um, hopefully it's not too echoey because there's like no furniture in here at the moment. Uh, in fact, there's very, I'm sat a little table on a little chair. There is very little furniture in here. You can see the hideous curtains next to me. They're being changed in a few days. <coughs> it's um a bit bare at the moment. Within a couple of days, in a week, maybe two weeks, it'll start to look a bit more like a home. And once that's done, I'll probably do a, a tour of the home. Once it's done, once we've got everything set up, the bed arrived today, that's still in boxes on the floor. That's being put together tomorrow or Wednesday. I can't remember which day I put it out together. Some of my friends will help me do it. Um, and then I've got to get bed in. It's just non-stop. It's crazy busy moving house. And obviously, I've also been working at the same time. And when I work, I do it mostly long days. So it's not good. Um, but we're slowly getting there. We have a fridge freezer. We have all the essentials to live. It's just not as comfortable as it could be. Um, but yeah, it'll eventually get there. It will eventually get there. So who have we got? So we've got Simon. We've got Whispering Well. Hello. We've got Twist. Hello, Twist. Greco here. I believe you're opening your box with me tonight, if that's correct. Um, so this actually arrived just before the weekend, so Thursday or Friday. Uh, obviously it was sent to my parents' address, um, and I had to drive back to my parents' address to pick up the custom slip, then go to the local post office to pick it up. So I did that on Saturday morning, and I worked Saturday and Sunday evening, so there's no way, this is the soonest that I can unbox it. Um, so I'm excited, always excited. I'm getting really excited. Really excited to when I get to win it, um, which is nice. Um, but it reminds me, I've got to start the long, I'm in the middle of the long process of changing addresses. So my parents live about 30 minutes drive away. So it's a nightmare having to go and pick a post from their house at the moment. But I'm in the process of slowly going through changing my dresses with all the different companies. And yeah, it's a pain. And I've got to remember to change, which is me. I've got to remember to do that so it gets delivered here. Um, even if it gets delivered here and it goes to the local post office, the local sorting office is like a 10 minute walk from my front door. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, so we're slowly getting there. It's just stressful. So, so stressful. It feels like I've got no time to myself. It's just a nightmare. I have not just getting a haircut, which I normally have cut once a month. So it's getting long and horrible, and I hate it. It looks a mess. Um, yeah, it's just been so busy. So, so, so busy. Right, so that's a little update on how my life is going. Um, hopefully everyone else's life are nice and calm. Mine will be eventually. Um, it will eventually settle down. When I say it's going to eventually settle down, it's not. So once I finally set up here, uh, in October, I'm joining the Army Cadet Force as an adult instructor volunteer. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I was a cadet when I was a teenager. Uh, and then after being in the cadets, I joined the army as an adult. And then I'm someone left the army and then joined the police. Um, and I think I'm gonna this is probably getting really badly on my high horse, which is never good. But 
in the times that we're currently living with austerity and the fractious nature of our communities and our country i mm. definitely believe that groups for young adults and teenagers such as the cadet force the scouts things along those lines that instill a sense of discipline and a sense of belonging a sense of moral responsibility and social responsibility are super important so i'm going to be an adult instructor so that's going to like take up more of my time it means we're back to wearing another uniform so we end up with more uniform at the house to store um but it means i get to do fun things like take them on exercise teach them to shoot all the really positive things that i had as a teenager growing up um that made me into a per the person that i am so yeah that'd be really cool so that's happening in october um, there's loads going on, there's loads going on, it's just mental. Um, yeah, so lots to do. Lots to do. Um, but also, I was talking to my friend actually about this. Um, he is already in the Army Cadet Force, he's a Sergeant Major um, in a different part of Greater Manchester to where I'll be, but he bombed and recommended it to me. And we're talking about it, and he's like, with your background in the police and your knowledge of safeguarding, there's two different tiers of adult volunteers which follow military structure. You've got non-commissioned officers and you've got commissioned officers and they hold a territorial commission. Um, this is probably getting way too technical, so I apologize if it is. Uh, but because of my, the commissioned officers are deal with a lot of paperwork side and a lot of the safeguarding and really, you know, the important stuff, whereas the non-commissioned officers are a lot more hands-on. And he was saying to me, because of my background in the police service, he, who's running the recruitment event is gonna push that I go through the commission road. Which means, surprisingly, if I go down that road, I end up with a territory on a commission uh, as a second lieutenant, which means that people salute me. Um, I, this is really weird because when I was in the military, I was a non-commissioned officer, so I wasn't commissioned, which meant that people didn't salute me. It's just really strange trying to get my head around the fact that, and also it's just like, it's just like, yeah, mental, really crazy. So that's what's going on in my life in the next six weeks. Um, typically, I am gonna, yeah, I don't know how I fit it all in, but I seem to. And now that I'm in my own place, I seem to have, or I will have more time to do it. So I think it's really important. So I'm gonna do that. So I'll let you all know how that goes um, and see if my life's gonna get crazy. My life has been crazy, but my life's always been crazy. It's never been chill, it's never been relaxed. Um, I've always had lots going on. Right, so that's me, eight minutes of waffling about what's going on in my life. So what are we all here for? We're all here for this. Uh, this month, it is really, really heavy. I mean like, very heavy. All the previous boxes have had a similar weight to them. This month is like super heavy compared to the previous boxes. Um, so I've managed once again. I've forgotten the I've forgotten the theme, so I can't tell you what the theme is. And I'm not going looking for the theme because I'll end up uh, seeing other people's unboxings, like photos on Instagram and things like that. So I'm not doing that. Um, I've managed to be, to be fair, because I've been so busy over the past two weeks, over the past 10 days, um, I've not had a chance to see anything, because um, I've not had the time to like, catch up on Instagram, catch up on Facebook, and all that type of stuff, so I've not had time to do that. So, I'm excited, I'm excited. Right. And open it up and see what we have in. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay. This is unusual. This is very unusual. So I'm going to hold it up if I can. So that's what it looks like. Now, first things first. The artwork, which I've seen, is smaller. Normally you get A4 size artwork. This is A5 size artwork. 
So before I jump into any of that, I'm going to get the package, the little um, letter that comes with it. And we're going to have a look at the Oracle card first. So this is the back of the card. It's like a crystal grid design on the back of the card. And this is what it says. So the card that I pulled is, it says tarot at the top. And it says, it's got quite a long paragraph. I'm going to read it out anyway. It says, a tarot reading will inspire, give guidance and create new paths for you. A reading is objective. There is no external authority deciding you have been good enough to be rewarded or bad enough to have something taken away. But everything in the outside world is a reflection of the inner. Allow reading to be what it is. Objective material flowing from your higher self to alert you to the truth and essence of you. A reading can show you where your life potential is. However, if you are not willing to make the changes that are being shown to you or have brought you to a reading, nothing will change. Each experience gives you the opportunity to move away from fearful thinking you have the potential to be whomever you want. We all know that that was what the tarot does for us. Um, maybe it's telling me I need to work more with my tarot because they're still all packed up. I've got nowhere to put them yet. Um, no idea what deck this is for. This is from. Um, Twist got dive in. Maybe they're sort of like um, thought of the day card type things, maybe. I don't know. Right, well, we'll find out later when we look at what we've got in the box. So I'm going to open the letter. And. Ooh. Ooh, this sounds so good. I totally forgot what the theme was. Right, so. It says, amidst. The Shadowed Land is the theme for this month. So, so the, I can actually read the paragraph without giving my anything away. Soon we step upon the doorstep of nature's transformation. Prepared and willing, open and honest. We become our true selves, able to delve deep into the shadows that stand before us. Among giving thanks and celebrating the harvest, we begin to prepare for the most powerful task of the season. We adjust our energy towards self-reflection and truth, so that we may arrive valiant, hearing through clear and knowing sight. Join us as we celebrate and honour the upcoming equinox and made on the season, shining light as we venture through the shadow of the land. This is so exciting. Twist, that's a really good idea, put in the card they send you um, on your altar. Hopefully by the end of this week, I will have an altar set up in my room. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Once Lee's here and he arrives tomorrow, we can arrange everything that we've already got here. We're going furniture shopping to get rid of bits of the house. We're picking up our sofa that my mum's given us on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so it's all coming together. So I will have an old time, I'm so excited. But I need to go to Berry Market because in Berry Market on market days, they've got a little witchy stall. Uh, and when I was there with my grandma the other week, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, these amazing, huge old cost like 10 pounds. Um, they sell like Nemesis now and you know all that type of stuff. But they also sell really cool like oils and things like that. I didn't get a chance to have a proper look because my mum was hungry. Um, and she never eats at the best of times, so if she says she's hungry, I'm getting her food and forcing it into her because she never eats. Um, so when she says she's hungry, that's it, we're feeding her, feeding her straight away. She didn't get a chance to stop and have a proper look. Um, but yeah, soon, as soon, as soon as, oh, sorry, as soon as I'm set up, I will make sure I set it up. Because um, I've got so many lovely things to put on, I've got no idea what I'm going to choose. Right, focus. So, we've got sigil in here as well which is we've got i love getting sigils i love getting sigils um i'm not 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 very um arty or artistic so i can't make my own sigils they just look like it's six years drawn me i tried to um i did find an app was it an app or a website i can't remember um how i got hold of it but an app or a website where you put in like keywords 
for what your intention is, and it will generate a signal based on those keywords. Um, I'm going to have to research it and find it, but yeah. Oh, twists peaked. It's a transformation signal. We like that. This is the seasonal transformation. You know, we'll come into the point where the veil is thinnest. Um, now, I was born on the 1st of November, just as the veil is thinned, um, which is where my name comes from. So, E prime is French for thorn, which has been a nickname of mine since I was 18. And um, there's a whole story about that, about being thorn and being a thorn in someone's side. Um, and like a rose, it's got thorns. But there's a whole lot of story which I have to go into detail another time. But thorn's been a nickname of mine since I was 18. And obviously, I was born as the veil was thin, so that's why it's thorn of the veil. You can do veil, thorn of the veil. Um, right, so I keep digressing. I've already drank like nearly a whole bottle of cider um, today. But today, this evening, um, I've only got one more in the fridge. I've got to be careful because I'm on painkillers. I'm on codeine. Um, I don't know. When I moved, I'm in a lot of pain. I fell down the stairs two weeks ago and bruised my bow and my coccyx. Still so painful. But being a, doing a physical job, it's taking ages to heal. Right, sorry, focus, Dan, focus. Let's go on to the artwork. So we have two artworks. They're so cute and dinky. Oh my God. I wonder if they're changing the artwork because in the witch's root, the artwork is this size, the A5 size. Um, ooh, oh. This makes me so happy. Right, focus. In the witch's roots, the artwork is A5 size. And in the witch's moon, it's always been A4 size. But maybe they're trying to standardize it all across the whole range because they're designed to be Book of Shadows pages. Um, I don't know. Um, anyway, two pieces that we've got are the Oak King and the Holly King. Now, this makes me so happy. I can't count the number of times that I've had this conversation with people like Simon and with my other spiritual pagan friends. For me, modern neo-paganism, Wicca, witchcraft, druidic based belief systems that we have rekindled in our modern society since the 50s, etc. In my personal opinion, they have become very female centric, and that's great, you know, female empowerment, the feminist movement, all behind that. But the whole point of paganism, the witchcraft, is about balance. It's got to be about balance, and we can't ignore masculine energies. And so I'm all about this. Simon. If you go onto their website, you can order past boxes if they have stock available. Um, so if you go onto the Witches Moon website, look at their Moon Market, there's a section of past boxes, and they sell past Witches Moon boxes, past Witches Roots boxes, and maybe past Witches Bounty boxes. Um, but you can purchase one off past boxes if they have stock available. Uh, but once they're gone, they're gone. Um, but I don't know what's on there, I haven't looked recently, but yeah. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving these. These are so neat because I love working with the um, masculine energy of the earth and that. Oh. What, why? But why has Twist's message been held? But why, I don't understand that. Why was that held? Is that swear? Oh, you, you swore. How do I turn off like the the naughty filter? Oh, you are to swear. Look, look, shit, 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 shit. See, we're out to swear here. This is like a safe space. We want to say what we want here, as long as it's coming from the place of love, in my opinion. And we can all discuss like stuff that's controversial. Anyway, how do I turn off like the adult filter or can I not? Simon will know. Can I turn off a naughty filter? Okay, you'll have to you'll have to guide me and tell me how to do that um, later on after this. So basically, if anyone wants to swear, Simon's going to have to release your one because I think Simon's the only mod in here this evening. Um, I didn't put this up until a very short time ago, so I'm not going to keep it here. That's cool. You can watch it back. 
Well, I'm good about that. Right, so that's the paper I've side done, and it's a brilliant pumpkin orange, which is perfect for the season. Um, a brilliant pumpkin orange. Look at that pumpkin orange. So it's so heavy. I'm so excited because this is so, so heavy. So let's have a look. Okay, there's tons of bubble wrap. I would hold it up because it's so heavy and worried about things falling out, so I'm not going to hold it up today. You've already seen what it looks like. So, oh, okay. Twist, we're going for the salt first. That's the first thing that's jumped out. I mean, the salt is the first thing that I can see. And, and they've changed the box, um, the box, the jar, jar, container, tub. I don't know what you mean. I can't remember what I'm saying. Tub, tub. So let's pull salt out. Oh, oh my goodness. So the salt, and they've changed the label. Okay, so the salt is called the renewal. But look at this label. They've changed it to. And it's not clear anymore. It's a dark thing. You can't see what's inside. So let's have a look in the salt. Oh, it smells so nice. But this is what it looks like inside the salt. I'm going to try and not pour it all over my laptop. Oh, I wish I just did. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. As usual, we get the chemicals all over the laptop. But that's normal. It's a lovely, like, cosy. It's like being hugged by. This is going to sound really weird. It's like having a proper fairy man hug, if that makes sense. You know, does that make sense? I don't know, it's like a mm, smell. I make that's how it makes me feel. We like that. Right, right. I've got new stuff in fine space. Okay. So that was the salt. What are we doing next? Twist, what are we having next? A snug, yeah, a snuggle. It's like a snuggle smell. Right, what's next? I think I've just seen something in the box and I looked over. Something quite big. You can see the herbs, okay. Yes, I can see herbs too. Let me get the herbs out. Uh, twist, I've seen something. But we'll come to that in a minute. Let's do the herbs next. Oh, so we have orange peel. and red clover. So we've got two herbs. Now, what happened, we normally get three. When we only get two herbs, it's because we get a tea. And I've seen a little muslin bag, which means we've got a tea. So let's do our tea. Oh, noodles everywhere. So there's the muslin bag that we get. And the tea's in the need there. Let's have a look. And the tea is called Harvest Sunset. And look at that. It looks so fruity and warm. That's going to... I reckon that's going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing. You can see, like, raisins and all sorts of fruit things in there. Yeah. I've got a feeling this whole box is going to be a warm huggy box because of the season that we're entering and we're coming to you know it's going through we're starting to get to the darker days and it's all about the harvest and about stockpiling resources and, you know getting warm and snuggly and making high stews with dumplings and crusty bread and all that part thing you know like nice chunky pies and mashed potato and 
really hearty, warming food um, is my favorite season. I was born in autumn, and it's my favorite season. Um, I love the smell in the morning. It's just amazing. Um, right. I think I can see the oil twist. So we go for the oil. I'm hoping this is going to smell like a hug too. Let's do the oil. Oil. Once again, it is packaged amazingly well. It's ah, there we go. It's always packaged amazingly well. I mean, you cannot fault this company for that. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my God. This is, I've not even opened it and already I'm so, so excited about this. Just from the name of it. This is so my box. This box is just like, oh, so me this moment. It's so, mmm. Uh, I'm just making noises now. I'm just making noises. Have you got it, Twist? Tell me you've got it. I need to focus. He's got it. He's got it. He's definitely got it. It is the Green Man anointing oil. And look at what is inside all of this. Right, well, I'm gonna have to smell this. Oh. It's it's another hug. It's like being hugged. It smells like you're getting hugged from behind by a really handsome guy with nice arms. Is that a weird way to describe the smell? Twist, you're gonna have to back me up. That's what it smells like. It's like getting hugged from behind. I this I don't know. This is what the feeling's making for you on side. But yeah, it smells like autumn. Oh uh, yes, with woolly jumpers on thick woolly jumpers. Right, it's not annoying, well, so I'm gonna have to put some on me because it's like I'm gonna have to put it all over me. It's an annoying oil, but oh. It's, it smells even better on your skin. Oh. Wow. Put it, if I went on a date and the guy had this aroma, I would fall madly in love straight away. Put it that way. This is gonna, it's so lovely. Right. So, so that is amazing. Oh. Right, I'm gonna have to read all about this. I normally I sort of skim over the like explanations of each thing, but today you're not getting a skim, you're getting everything, everything to uh I wanna know everything about this. Right. Twist, what are we doing next? I need to like center myself and focus. I'm not going to turn this chat into one of Becca's chats because that would be rude. But let's go for the candle, shall we? Oh, okay. Ah, I can see it. It's wrapped in orange paper, pumpkin orange paper. Oh. Twist. Is your candle short and stubby instead of long and thin like they usually are? Mine is short and stubby, but a lot fatter. Right. Oh no, I'm so unprepared. Right, okay, sorry. I'm so unprepared. I haven't got scissors. Obviously, I've moved house, so. Well, that's what this is going to be. Two seconds. Oh. Two seconds. So, despite my house being looking like 
an absolute, absolute mess. Because I'm so anally organized about everything, this is one of the first bag I looked into because I thought I know where they're gonna be, where well, I would always keep them in that bag, and there they were. So let me get my little tiny scissors out. Just in case you're wondering what I use, um, it's a little tiny manicure set by Nike. Not sponsored, but how cute is this little manicure set? The tiny little scissors are great for cutting open things like the candle without them using big fat ones. Tiny little nail scissors, I don't use them to cut my nails. I'm using nail clippers. Um, yeah, they're really useful for getting into parcels. They're useful for getting into decks because they're so tiny and so sharp. Yeah, sharp, yeah. Um, so let's open up the candle. This is new and this is different. Now, normally in our big long candles, we have a ritual wrapped around it um, on a scroll. Now, on this one, He is just doesn't appear to have a scroll on it. I'll show you. It's got a label on it, and it's a silent reflection. And it's a really nice little piece of card wrapped around it. Beautiful. It's got the witch's moon there. It's got some, I suppose, I wouldn't call them sigils, but some symbols on. Um, It's a lovely, lovely colour. Um, I'm going to have to read about that because they've changed this slightly. I like it when they, you know, mix things up because these boxes, they don't. I was going to say the boxes get same, they don't get same, but you have the standard things in you your crystal, you have your oil, you have your salt, you have your candle, you have your incense. You know, you get all your standard stock things in. Um, to do a ritual with, like, so you can do a full ritual with each box. I mean, you know, it's everything you need to there. You can craft your own ritual. Um, one of them looks like the sign for Scorpio, are you sure? Because I'm Scorpio. Um, let me have a look again. So it does, yes. The last one is the astrological letter or sign symbol for Scorpio. I don't know what the other two are. But the last one is the astrological one for Scorpio, except it hasn't got the little point on the arrow at the very end. But it's very, very similar. Maybe the arrow astrological signs. We'll have to read about that. Um, right. So we've got. Right. So now, do you know what? I think we've covered almost everything except the crystal, um, the big gift. Now, I can see the bottom of the big gift. So should we just go in and get the big thing out? I think this is what's going to be the heavy item. So let's try and do that. I'm going to have a drink first. Right. Okay, I'm taking the executive decision of It's right in front of me. Oh my God, it's heavy. This is what is the heavy item. Right. Okay. Amazingly well packaged, but super heavy. I think I have a rough idea what this might be. I'm um, it. This. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what it is. It's clearly a candle holder, but the detail on this is just, it's like a tree stump with the green man's face on it. You've got acorns and leaves and oak leaves it's like the oak king it's the oak king that is it's very heavy that is amazing that is just 
out of this world stunning. That's why the box is so heavy, because this weighs, it's really substantial, and it's beautiful. Oh, I'm loving the masculine energy of this box. It's making me feel so... I'm just loving it. It's so nice. It's so amazing. Do you know what? I'm going to keep saying this every single month. I've had a hard 10 days, hard two weeks recently. With everything that's been going on, I felt a bit like, ugh. It's not very, uh, about things. And this is just making the smells, everything's making me feel really, I don't know how to say this without sounding like misogynistic, not misogynistic, that's wrong, without sounding, oh, I don't know. I can't put my words together. You know what I mean? I, without conforming to a certain gender role, I suppose. Um, people do, so, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's making me feel, oh, I keep smiling, I keep getting a whiff of that oil and all, you know, all on me, and it's so nice. Oh, that is so painful when I move. Right, let's see what else we have. So, okay, I found the crystal. In a beautiful moss green bag. Love that colour. I'm loving all these colours. I'm loving this box. Let's open it and see what we have in here. is what we have. Look at that. That is so nice. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, this box is just... We like this box. Right. So, oh, twist. I've got two more things wrapped in bubble wrap in here. A long one and a little one. What are we going for first? Long one, little one. Okay, little one. This is the right one. Ah, I know what this is. So this is a little glass, I suppose you call it key light candle holder, and it fits inside there so that you can have a candle in there and it's not gonna you're not gonna get a wax all over your beautiful candle holder a little glass tea light holder see nice little touches nice little touches like that go a long way they thought about the fact that it's so beautiful that people won't want to get wax all over it because you don't want to spend the hours trying to get the wax off and you don't want to use anything abrasive on it because of moving it so they thought about little things like that I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Right, so there's going to be... Where's my incense? Oh, it's in the bottom. Let's pull the incense out, because then we've got one more thing after the incense. Come on, incense, where are you? Oh, I've got loads this time. Loads. Tons of incense. Customary incense. Oh. It's a nice, warm, comforting hug of a smell. This whole box is. This whole box is just a hug. Yeah, it's got a bit of a fruity, a bit of a fruity undertone to it. 
finish it. Oh. Amazing. Oh, this box. I love it. Absolutely love it. Last item. Okay. Two seconds. I already know what it is just by picking it up. But I'm not going to show you so I'm going to it because I'll spoil. I don't want to spoil the prize for you guys. But as soon as I picked it up, I knew what it was. Wow. This is. So what it is, is a candle snuffer, but the handle is made to look like a twig or a piece of branch. Look at that. I like that. I really like that. Wow, that was... See, Simon, it's a very good box. I'll be honest, this is amazing. I really enjoy this box. It's, I can't decide whether, do you not remember the Salonite, the box that all the Salonite in, the Salonite one, the Salonite sphere, the moon, the box about moon and stuff like that. And that was an amazing box too. There's been some incredible boxes in the past. This is really up there. Really, really up there. Right, I need to get the information and we're going to have a look at what we've got to make sure we have got everything that we are supposed to. So, the Green Man candle holder with a glass insert. Yes, we got that. Now there is a ton of information here about the Green Man, which is what we always do. Always do. Um, we always get loads of information, so that's really good. The Branched Candle Snuffer, we got that. We got the Oak King and Holly King Book of Shadows artwork. We got a Transformation Sigil, the Silent Reflection Spell Candle, the Green Man Magical Anointing Oil. And this is what it says, the Enchanted Soil with Cedar and Clove Oils, and I've included Willow Bark, Oak Bark, and Cedar Wood as well. We've also included a special mixture of our transformation magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of the soil. Uh, the renewal sacred salt. And this has got tea tree, rosemary, lemongrass oils, as well as willow, rosemary, and lem lem lemongrass herbs. That's amazing. Honey calcite, which is just gorgeous. Warmth of seasons incense sticks. Never tell you what is in their incense. Secret recipe. Harvest sunset herbal tea, which has got lemon peel, orange peel, and rose hip. Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna taste so good. We've got orange peel and red clover. We've got a personalized oracle reading, and it's from the Flower of Life Oracle, Wisdom of a Star by Denise Jarvie. We've got our party paper as well. So what was I want to look at? I wanted to look at the candle, didn't I? 
So let's have a look at the candle. Uh, okay, so there's no spell with spell candle, but it includes instructions on what they think or what they suggest you should do with it. And it's about inner reflection, which is perfect for this time of year. So that was amazing. That was totally amazing. So, what have I missed? Let's have a look. So, the little cups and stuff is perfectly in terms of glass end. Excellent. It's almost like they designed them to be together. It's like they come as a set. They're perfect. Uh, I'm wondering if you can buy Oak King and Holly King figures for altars. Do you know what? I'm sure you would be able to. Um, do you remember the shop we went into in Nottingham when I came down the day before the UK Tarot meetup? Uh, there was some statuary there, the Witch's Moon style statuary, but you can probably probably look and find it elsewhere. Um, there's loads. I mean, I've got loads of sellers on eBay that do some amazing stuff that I follow. Um, one of my favourite sellers at the moment, my favourite new companies, it's not that new, but one that I really like, are Sons of Asgard. They do low of kits and they bring out new stuff all the time. Um, I've got the House Blessing kit, which I bought two months back. Uh, and I'll be doing that with my housemate when he arrives. We'll do the whole ritual together. Um, Twist, you're more than welcome. Always welcome. I love the fact that I get to open this with somebody else. Um, and thank you so much for being patient and waiting for me to get mine and for me to not be at work. So it's been in my house for two days and not be adding a new opener. Um, but this box, I mean, this box is amazing. It's so good. So, so good. It's. It's a really good box for this time of year. For me as a person, it it just yeah, it, it's really on point again. Really synchronistic, synchronistic, synchronistic to what is how I was feeling, and it's just giving me such a boost. The smells, I mean, ah, oh, the smells are so amazing. Oh, well, oh, I'm close to 200. Am I? I haven't been paying attention because I've not been doing much on YouTube. I literally do at the moment the occasional live. Um, hopefully, once I get sorted, <laughs> I keep saying this, but once I get sorted, I will do more. Um, there's a place near here. Um, I'm not going to say exactly where it is because um, I'm, you know, I don't know how much to share. This is very, this is like, uh, yeah, how much do you share? Anyway, there's a place close to where I live that I visited before, which is so rugged. It's in the foothills of the Pennines. It's so rugged and so harsh of an environment, but it's so magical. Um, and I really keep wanting to go there and like, like pick flowers or pick a botanical, just like, you know, go like witching outside, outside witching, like outside witching. Um, and the moors are my like, I grew up around the moors, you know, it made me feel so, so special. Like, I don't think I've told this story before. I probably have it. I think I've told Simon, but I don't think I've told this story before. So, where I used to live um, is also in the foothills. So when I grew up, I grew up in a town um, called Rochdale. Uh, and it's in the foothills of the Pennines. Um, it's a valley, it's a dale, which is like a very gentle, a, a dale is a bowl, basically, a bowl-shaped indentation in the ground that a river, in the, in the mountains that a river runs through. That's what a dale is. Um, and we lived on the edge of it. So you'd walk out the house, up the road a little bit, and you'd literally be in the foothills of the Pennines. And the Pennines are described as the backbone of England, where like a 
suppose it'd be the fastest in mountain range, but there are a range of moors that run down the centre of north, the northern centre of England, and they're called the spine, the backbone of England. Uh, and behind my house was this huge, massive hill that sort of stood out around the others. And then you got further up into the rest of the moors. But I used to play on that hill as a child from nine, well, from about ten onwards. I used to play there with my friends. Um, and it was so rugged, it was beautiful in the summer, it was cold in the winter, but we always used to go up there regardless of the weather. You know, we'd, we'd have like dens up there. And if you went around the back of the hill, all the way around the side, or to the back, there was a small rock face in the hill, uh, almost a sheer rock face, only about, I'd say, 30 to 40 feet tall, this rock face, it wasn't huge, but you could climb a little way, sort of the middle area of it, and it's almost like the rocks had created an actual altar for you to, you know, stand at and work. And there was enough space, and it was just like mental. And I used to remember going up there and thinking that it would be the most amazing place to do something. And I was 14, 15 um, at the time. I was, you know, I was learning about the craft, I was learning about. Um, I'd be brought over there anyway, but I was thinking, I wish I had the ability and um, able to do it. And I remember going up there and doing little things with rocks and sticks and, you know, just absorbing all that energy. Um, and it was amazing. But yeah, the similar place, um, all that sort of terrain is also around where I live. I only live 12 miles from where I grew up now. So um, again, the foothills of the Pennines. So, yeah, it's uh, I can't wait. And my friend wants to go camping in the Pennines, like proper rugged camping. And I'm like, yeah, we can do that. That's not a problem. But it's 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 grim. It can be very grim, and the weather can turn like that. Um, it can be brutally glorious outside, and the cloud can just descend, and it's horrible. Um, yeah. So, went off a bit of time to that. Sorry about that. So, does anybody? Have any questions or does anybody have anything they would like to talk about um, while we are here? So, I don't know, probably my room. Uh, I'll probably have it in my room. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. It's still a lot to do. Like, I, there's a lot of things I want to have in certain places. So, as you come into the house, the front door, there's a little place where you have like a tiny, thin little unit, cupboard thing. And I keep thinking, what'd be amazing if you have a nice wooden bowl uh, filled with stones or rocks or pebbles um, or sand or something along those lines and my little um, my little I forgot his name my little sage jolly can sit there watching the front door and I can have like incense and stuff there um, so that my flatmate Lee is totally cool with it. He has read a lot of books on the subject of Wicca, um, and he finds that that resonates with him, but he's never, and he came to this as an adult in his late 20s, and he's never actually done anything about it. He's never, he didn't know where to start. He didn't know how to get into it without whether he was doing it the right way or the wrong way. And I, I was on this conversation with him today, actually. You know, look, I don't subscribe to the dogmatic approach of the Wiccan religion. The certain rules of studying for a year and a day, the certain rules of how the covens work, and I don't subscribe to that, I, that dogma. Um, the whole point for me is that religion rules, but the divine, the supreme conscious, God, 
or that's whatever you want to term them as doesn't subscribe to the rules that men create you know so ignore them <laughs> basically um, and I said to him well look and I showed him that I've got this little house by some kid I said we'll do it together you know we'll do this together we'll set up a whole ritual get some food we'll get some alcohol you know because I like to afterwards ground yourself with a food with a bit of food a bit of alcohol um I said we'll do the whole thing together you know we'll to bless our new home that we're going to be living in together and creating a new life both you know, you're creating your new life I'm creating my own life we'll be doing it together let's put our energy into this place um so he's totally totally up for that um and that's really good so yeah I can't wait for him to do that with him um and you know I'll, I'll show him everything I know and I'll get him involved as much as he wants to and teach him everything that I know um, about spirituality, about how my life lives, about about everything. Uh, you know, it's like one of the things I want to do, I'm digressing again, but one of the things I want to do is have a seance here. Now, where I live is on an old, the site of an old industrial age, or industrial revolution mill. So the building next to me is a is a mill, is an actual mill built in the 19th century. Um, and the community around here would have been the people who lived and worked in that mill. And the English Industrial Revolution is filled with all these terrible stories and child labor and awful accidents. You know, there was no workers' rights, there was no such thing as health and safety. And I want to know what's gone on on the land that I now live because of the industrial nature of where I'm growing up, of where I'm growing up, of where I'm living. Um, but I know that. When you start to open yourself to that, things will start to happen. Things will start to come in. Um, so I want to make sure he's cool with it first. I want to make sure he's cool with it. Uh, so I have to ask him first, and yeah, do a proper science. But I would do it the way that I do it, which is very ritualistic. It's very witchy. It's a witchy. It's a witchy thing. Um, I do it very witchy. Um, so yeah. That'd be really cool. That'd be great. And then I want to see what we've got here. I think I had enough people. There's like so much you can do. So much. So much you can do. Yeah. So. Right. I think, unless anyone's got any more questions, because I've just rambled on now, haven't I? Um, <laughs> if anyone's got any more questions, please ask. Um, I love doing these lives with you guys. I love chatting to you. I love talking about this. Like, you cannot shut me up about this stuff. There was a tarot question. Okay. Tarot question. Go on. What was the tarot question? Have I missed it? Has Lee had tarot reading? No, he hasn't. He's not had a tarot reading that I'm aware of. Uh, well, not by me anyway. He might have done, actually. No, actually. Ugh. See, this is where I'm thinking, how much do I swap, how much do I share of people that are in my real life compared to my YouTube life? Um, I don't know. And I'm not going to say any more because that's not fair. Uh, because he's not here to talk for himself, so I don't want to say anymore. Um, but he's very open to spirituality, very open with that um, as a person, which, you know, messy, 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 which resonates with me. But no, I've not done one for him. I've not done a tarot reading for him. Um, but he's more than welcome when he comes up to have one. 
is more than welcome to play on the cards, protect the cards, to, you know, like, oh, I, like, because I've started to unpack, <laughs> I'm finding stuff that I forgot I bought. So I have found decks that I didn't realize I bought. Um, or that I did know that I bought, but not realize. Does this make sense? So basically, I opened a box this morning to see what was inside it. And I'm like, oh, hello. I didn't realize you were there. And it's the Dark Mansion Tarot. Now, I knew I bought the Dark Mansion Tarot. I didn't realize, and I couldn't remember buying a limited edition wooden box with the leather bag. You know, like the nice set, but like the Uber set. <laughs> Clearly had more money back then and clearly wasn't thinking of the financial consequences, but I've got it now. Um, and I was like, oh my God. And I started looking through the cards and I was like, oh my God, I'm in love with this. And they are perfect for this time of year. So, yeah. Oh, also, totally again, random. Uh, any fans of Build a Bear? I know Lisa's a fan of Build a Bear. She's not here. I hope that she'll watch back. I don't know if it's worldwide, but uh, in the UK, on the UK Build a Bear website, they have got two on a couple of limited edition Build a Bears for September and October. And one of them, or two of them, are sponsored or got the rights to the Nightmare Before Christmas. So you have a Jack Skellington teddy, who looks like Jack Skellington, but as a bear, with his little suit on, his little bow tie. And you also have a Sally, you know, the zombie that was stitched together, um, that he falls in love with as a bear as well, but they're only available on their website. And if you press the Jack Skellington uh, bear, you know, normally like you can have a message or something or whatever, but it actually sings, this is Halloween. And he's so adorably cute and spooky. And I keep thinking, do I want to spend 40 odd pounds on a teddy bear? It's difficult. Do I or don't I? Do I buy him as an early birthday present for myself? My birthday is not for six weeks. But do I want to buy, spend, oh, he's almost 50 pounds. He's nearly 50 pounds, which is a lot of money. Um, or it's a lot of money when I just moved house. Once that I'm settled, it probably won't be. But I'm like, you know, do I want to do that or not? Um, so, yeah. Right. Anyway, that has just actually reminded me. Um, yeah, I have just moved house and I do not have broadband or wireless internet or fiber optic. So I'm currently using my data on my phone to do this. It's fine. I've got like 60 gig of data or something ridiculous. So it's going to be fine. But I don't want to burn through it all in one live. Um, so, yeah, my birthday is in six weeks. It's the 1st of November. So it's in approximately six weeks. Um, six, seven weeks time. Um, yeah, is there any more questions before I say goodnight? Let you all go off. Um, I don't know if anyone else is, is doing anything this evening on YouTube because I'm totally, totally, totally not up on the YouTube schedule like Saturn is. But I've got stuff to do. So I was like, in fact, I've got to, I've got to go and see, uh, see, oh, I've got to go and make my dinner. So I'm going to have pizza for dinner tonight. So, uh, so I'm going to go and put the oven on and have pizza. So any more questions before I go? Yes, Chris. Trip. Trip. But I will use. Um, I don't. Yeah, I. I don't. I can't remember how to add people. Um, Simon, you'll have to help me. Tell me how to add Twitter on Divide so that he can message me when he wants. During his trip, trip? I'm really confused. What trip? Have I missed something? 
twist, whatever, whatever's good for you. I'm easy. Right, on that note, I need to go on my dinner out. It's eight o'clock. Uh, I've got things to do tomorrow. So, try and enjoy your trip, Twist. Simon, drop me a message, I'm going to know how to add him. Uh, I will say good night. Thank you all for being here with me this evening. It's been an amazing box. I mean, oh, it smells so good. So, yeah, good night. Have a nice evening, and I will hopefully speak to you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.